Hello everyone, welcome to Decor channel. Whether it is a separate space or a part of another room, styling the dining room can get a bit challenging. The design of your dining room can greatly affect your mood and emotions. Having your meals in a well-designed space that matches your taste can boost your positivity and make you feel better. Here are some tips to help you style your dining room. Layout it is the best to place the table in the center of the room. However, if you want to integrate it with the living room area, you can go for an open plan. Then you will place the dining room in the center and pick a shape you want. Furniture, dining table. When you design your dining table first, you got to choose a table that's well proportioned to the size of the room. Also, you have to consider the amount of people who will be seated if your space is rather small, then go for a round table to save some space. Choose the table with the meter not larger than 50 inches in order to make it easier for members to have conversation across the table. However, if you would like to have space for up to 8 people, then a rectangle or oval table will work better. As for the material, it's good to go for wood or mul marble since they are more durable, last longer. Then you can bake the color and the upholstery according to your style. Also, don't be afraid to use some metallic additions. Good silver, brass or iron can fit in with every color and pattern. Chair Choose the chairs should be suitable to the height of the table. Always keep in mind to choose a chair comfortable enough for a two hour long meal in order to avoid giving the feeling your room is cultured. Keep three feet of a space open behind your chairs. This leaves space for you and your guests to get up and down from the table. Sideboard or buffet. If your dining area is rather small and you would like to make it feel lighter and spacious, then you would like go for a sideboard with open shelving or glass cabinet doors. A buffet with closed cabinetry looks heavy generally and will be better for a larger dining space. As for its size, make sure that your sideboard isn't too deep as you need at least 24 inches of space between pieces of furniture for comfortable calculations. The sideboard should also be comfortable for serving, therefore it can be of an average 36 inches in height. Decoration tip When you accessorize your buffet, it's good to make it at three levels. Do this with a lamp, high candlesticks, middle, and add another lower level object. It's also nice to add a backdrop to your sideboard or buffet. You can have large piece of art, a mirror, or even a couple framed pieces to create a gallery wall. Wall colors. If you want to spice up your dining area, don't go for a wild color on the walls. This will instantly make your space more vibrant. Generally, a dining room should be have warm colors on the walls such as a red should be bruised or dark green or blue you can also match a pattern wallpaper with your chosen furniture upholstery however if you prefer simple neutral color in the walls you can then add the colored elements elsewhere this can be in a paintings for instance or for another accessories like the carpet or cohesions accessories Floral arrangement if you are a flower lover, then it's a great opportunity to make a statement and add flowers to your dining room. A well-designed flower centerpiece can add a special essence for your dining room, enhance your mood. Defining with rug in an open plan reception, you will need to define the dining area space. Adding a rug can perfectly do the job. You can go creative with the patterns and textures you want to mix with your furniture. Artwork. Every space can be totally changed by adding an artwork. If you want it, the dining room isn't an exception. Adding inspiring artwork to your dining room can set your positive mood. Lighting is one of the most important elements to your dining room. It either makes or breaks the general look and feel. Using fancy chandelier or instantly elevate your dining space and make it more special. Chandelers come in all shapes and sizes. You can go for a glass or crystal chandelier or even liner one to your 
want to keep it simple. However, don't forget to install dimmer switch in order to adjust brightness. Besides, make sure to keep chandlers or pendant lighting out of your face by installing at least 30 inches over the table. Curtains if your dining room has a window, then your choice of curtains should be made well. Curtains can add softness to your interior space that's already full of furniture. Make sure to choose the suitable length of the rubbers. Your curtains should at least touch the floor. If you would prefer longer ones, then go for it, but never make it too short. Designers have agreed that having short curtains is generally a common mistake that should be avoided in interior spaces. Mix and match your curtains with the table clothes or chair fabrics. You can always go for a book pattern that adds your dining room design through contrasts. Determine the function of the room. Before designing a space, it's important to understand the function that it will serve. Will the space be used for formal dinner parties or casual gatherings? How much seating is required? Should the space promote conversations or large group conversations? Does the space need to serve or store formal dinner wear? Once you have answered these questions, you can start space planning and selecting the materials and pieces. Small round tables are optimal for conversation and flexibility in number of guests. Long narrow rectangular tables maximize the number of guests along the pier meter but create a very different conversation pattern. Consider the type of environment you would like to create. Ensure a private setting. During a social gathering, much of guests' time is spent in the dining room. I will design dining room should encourage conversation along guests, which means the space shouldn't be too noisy or in sight of many decorations, particularly in an open concept home. It can be challenging to ensure a private and setting without sacrificing style. Establish a focal point. Make the table the center of attention so that your diners are the main focus. When the dining table is the focal point of the space, guests will feel more comfortable to take a seat and communicate with one another. Once the table is arranged, all other furniture and accessories so that they complement this focal point. Create a conversation starter. Design a space that draws and promotes conversation among guests, whether it's with unique artwork, bold wallpaper, or custom furnishings. Consider what's going to spark great conversations. The unique use of this room partly comes from how we handled the feast ceiling. The team uniquely 